everybody, this is Ms. Shannon from the Fairfield County District Library and I am here to start off our grab bag art program. So this summer we have five different projects. I'll tell you a little bit about the program first and then I'll talk a little bit about our print art project which is our first one. So you can come to the library and pick up your grab bag this summer. Last summer if you did it remember we had a different bag every week. This time we've got a little bit more streamlined and put five crafts in one bag. So you just have to pick up one this summer. And they're still a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna use a lot of recycled stuff from home. So maybe not as much stuff in the bags, but still just as much fun. So today I'm gonna talk about print art, things you can do with print art. There is a lot of print in this world, if you look around. Cereal boxes, cereal boxes. Look at all those letters, all those colors. Snack bags, colors, letters, words. Um, candy wrappers, newspapers. In your bag, you'll find a newspaper. Not everybody gets them. But if you ask around, I'm sure you can find some. Newspapers, uh, old books pages from old books that are falling apart. You don't have to throw that old book away. You can repurpose the pages and make it into something else, something creative. Or magazines, you know, print all around us. So whatever you can find, if nobody's using it anymore, you can repurpose it into something else, something fun, a beautiful piece of art. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that today. Uh, first, let me introduce you to Michael Albert. He is an American artist, as his book is titled, Young Artists America, he's an American artist, uh, Michael Albert. And something he does is take print from everyday objects and turn it into art. So let me give you an example here. This is a piece of his artwork. And if you look closely, you might be able to see what it's made out of. Think about a cereal box, all the different colors. There's an awful lot of yellow. If you look closely, you'll see little round donut looking cereal. And if you look really closely, you might just see a Cheerio or two. This was a Cheerios box that he has turned into art. Um, you could do that something like that with the Frosted Floss Cake Box. Cut it up into little strips, rearrange it, and you have a great piece of art. Uh, here's another example. This one is candy wrappers. All different kinds of candy wrappers, if you think about it. There are hundreds and thousands, probably hundreds of thousands, types of candies in the world with all that variety. I see Skittles, I see Reese's Cups, and M&Ms, and Mars bars and Clark's bars and dots and on and on and on. He's turned all of those things into a piece of American art. Let's see, let's do one more. This is taking letters from a lot of different boxes. You can see these are all boxes, like there's Pinky the Tiger from our Frosted Flakes cereal box. Um, and he has turned this one into the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you look closely, the letters say a pledge of allegiance, or I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. So it's the whole Pledge of Allegiance worked into a piece of art using all kinds of things. There's a lot of print art out there that you can turn into some really fun pieces of art. So that's Michael Albert. So he's one of the inspirations for today. Uh, let's take a look at some of the things you can make with different types of print. So I'm going to start with 3D structural art. This is from book pages. This took two seconds, just as an example. You could roll these things as tight and as tall as you can make them. And if you look on your instructions, there's an example of a tassel you can make with book pages. That's all that that is. Uh, for the towers, you just roll the page, 
cut it in a little page. So the top of the tower is a half circle rolled and a lot of tape putting those together. Uh, so in your bag you have your instructions for each project and you have book pages. Uh, there are other things you can do with these book pages too besides creating 3D structures and castles. You could make a bookmark with just a piece of book page with a little bit of artwork painted on. You could use your cereal box to create a bookmark along with a piece of a book page decorated with Dexter's crayon. Glue it together and make yourself a bookmark. Easy kind of art. Or you could make actual pictures with some of your print. So let's see, this one is a cat made out of newsprint. And to do that, you would just take your stencil, which is in your bag, which is a cat pattern. If you wanted to make that particular one, cut it out, trace it onto your piece of newspaper, over the words. Doesn't matter if you do it this way or this way. If you wanted some color in it, you could use any part of the newspaper. So cut it out, trace it, cut that out, and glue it down to some of your construction paper. And then you can decorate your cat uh, any way you want to. So this one uses marker, uh, black and red markers, the eyes were cut out of a different part of the newspaper without the print so you could see them. But the marker gives it some definition so you can see cat that way. Uh, also in your bag you have a little bit of paint, a powder paint. You could just use a little bit of that. Mix it with water. Uh, you could paint on your stripes or whatever. Decorate your picture however you would like to. Um, this another example of what you can do with just a shape of newsprint. Give it some heat. You can give it some eyeballs. This time we're giving it some water and turning it into a shark, but you can make all kinds of creatures, monsters, pets. If you're doing Tales and Tales this summer, create a pet out of newsprint. Uh, use crayon or marker or paint. And, uh, create something different. So that's my last example. So this is what we are going to look at today. This has a little bit of everything in it. We have um, letters, people from the newspaper. I decided my bunny's name is Sunny. We cut letters from the newspaper. Uh, we can make a bunny. This one is out of newsprint, but you could also make it out of your book pages. It's just two circles some ears, and a little bit of a tissue for a tail. Tissue tail, because bunnies have soft tails. And then these are just flowers made out of newsprint, crayon, and paint. And also in your packet, you have some sequins that are for the CD art, which is next week. We'll be doing CD art. But if you wanted to use a couple, you can give your picture a little bit of shine make the flowers stand out. But to make the flowers, all you need to do is take your newsprint and I cut them into different sizes just to give it a start. So we cut the newsprint. And I wanted four flowers. So let's do a couple different sizes. also make other things out of this too just by pairing your shapes. So I decided to I like flowers but you could also do cats, dogs, snakes. Just kind of pair your shape. And I wanted it to be a little bit of 3D so I just kind of push 
it up a little bit. And then we're going to do a centerpiece. So a little bit smaller one for the middle. If you're sharing your shapes, you might just find yourself creating something completely different because it looks like something different. But underneath the flowers. So there's a center piece and an outer piece. Crayons work really well on these prints. Just make this one blue. And just color your paper. Color shows up really well. Just like that. Switch it up a little bit. The paint also works really well. I don't think I'll mix any up right now. I'm just going to use crayons still. But to make the paint, you just use put a little bit of the powder in your cup and just keep adding water and keep stirring. It takes a little while for it to become paint consistency. Just stir, stir, stir until it actually looks like paint. The paint gives it a more of a texture, more of a watery texture. But crayons work too if you don't have paint at home. And we do still have bags at the library if you want to pick them up, if you haven't already. So you can give your newsprint all different kinds of colors for whatever it is you want to make. You just glue them together. And I just used glue sticks to get it to be layered like a 3D effect. So just put a little bit right in the middle. Stick it together right in the middle. That way there's more texture and it jumps off the page. Give it the little center, whether it's crayon or sequin or button. Buttons work really great. Things you have around at home. You could even use bottle caps to add, you know, different sticks of recyclables to make your creation. Make it that easy. Um, so you can make a picture. A picture. You could turn it into a card. I think Father's Day is coming up if you're watching this right now. Um, there's always a holiday or a birthday or something coming up. Or people just like getting cards if there's somebody you want to say hello to or you, that you're thinking of them. Make a card. Um, picture for somebody's refrigerator. So use your creativity. Look at your paper. Think about what you might want to make and make it happen and have fun. And then if you would like, once you're done with your creation, if you want to take a picture and send it to us, you can send it to fcbys at fcblibrary.org. And we're going to put together a short slideshow at the end of summer to showcase all of the amazing creations you all will come up with. So we'd like to see your work. Um, have a lot of fun with it. We'll see you next week for CB Art, and we'll see you next time. Bye.